Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Hello everybody, I'm Ranger Rob and welcome to Ranger Rob Country Living. Today, we're going to see if my design, well Sherry, both of our designs, of the chicken house for cleaning is as good as we designed it to do. So this is the new chicken house right here. So there's two things we did when we built this house. Is we wanted to make sure by all the research we've done that we would get the cleanest eggs possible um, from our chickens without them messing them up. So make sure this is all open. These are, uh, I've shown this to you before, but like I said, there's two things that we designed. Is we created very deep um, <laughs> chicken nests. And they're blocked right now because we don't want the babies in, uh, in there yet until they're starting to lay eggs. That was the first thing that we designed. It was very deep uh, nesting boxes. So they would... Uh, Supposedly it reduces them messing up their eggs. We'll find out won't we? The other thing we did is the bottom of these Dropped down too, which makes for very easy cleaning. Well, we're not going to be doing that today. However We are going to clean out the back of the house and so what we did is we designed this back and uh for those of you, if you go way back to when we actually built this thing, we put a uh, sh a shower liner. Uh, it's a hard rubber, well, not hard rubber, but and it's on the base of this house. So I'm just going to bring a wheelbarrow over here, and uh, hopefully this scoops right out with no problem. And so uh, that was the design for this to make this very easy to clean out. And we put the compost pile very close to the chicken pen to make this even easier. So let me get the wheelbarrow and let's uh, line it up here and see how hard it is to clean the back of this chicken house. So that was very easy. Everything came out into the barrel just fine. Uh, swept out nicely. Uh, we do have a little bit of droppings on the edges here from the perches. Um, but all in all, I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm just going to sweep this out a little bit better. And then we're going to put new straw in there. Well, actually it's hay. And uh, then we're going to take this and put it in that compost bin and so I'm very happy about some really good compost and uh, for the front of the chicken pen the coop uh, it's really easy to sweep out too since we don't have real uh, grassy dirt here and stuff it'll rake up really nice once again it'll be put in a compost bin so uh, let me get back to work here and uh, let's get some hay in this
Well, that should make some pretty good compost. I will turn on the water and spray this down, get some water added to it. But by next year, we may have some wonderful compost here. Um, when I do the front of the chicken coop, I'll probably put those remains in here. And so uh, uh, a lot of my wood chips are in here, food scraps, coffee, uh, greens, uh, all kinds of stuff. So it should be a really good compost by next year. Well, I got some very happy chickens. They know that I'm not in the back of the house anymore. They're all in there. You can hear them scratching away at that new uh, hay I put in there. Once again, this I'll just uh, do the same thing. Rake it right out, take it to the door, and take it to the compost bin. This, uh, I think I can let it go a little bit longer. Uh, I want to get this out before the winter or before it starts getting cold because then I want to work on that layering effect to uh, help keep them warm at, uh, in winter time. So, all right, I uh, think our mission is done here. So before I show you this next part of the house, I want to do uh, play a clip of what it looked like before. Now I haven't shown you the whole completed thing yet, but the back of our house was a jungle. And here's the video. All right, now we're back. Here's the finished product. This, this is the same walkthrough that I did to show you how much work Sherry did here. All this had uh, had to be dug out a little bit because there were so many pine needles and things that we literally had to cut it out so we could put pea gravel in. But this is the finished product. And it's beautiful. And uh, you notice everything's got to be touched by my dog. So this is now usable again. And it's gorgeous. So, uh... I hope you enjoyed today's video, uh, the proven concept of cleaning our chicken pen I was very happy with. I'm really looking forward to seeing how those chicken nests do. Uh, I did take the hose and water down my compost bin and uh, it'll be interesting to see what that looks like next year. So uh, anyway, we're going to wrap up the video right here, I want to thank you for watching please subscribe, please share our videos. Uh, the best thing you could do for us is also like our videos and uh, help us grow. Anyway, we appreciate it. And uh, until next time, bye now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.